Hi everyone. So, this weekend was Valentine's Day, and most people would have been spending time with their loved ones. I, on the other hand, have been checking out Carmageddon Reanimation, the brand new beta from the guys at Stainless. Now, this particular beta release is known as the Valentine's Day Massacre, and they've made it as a free open beta for every single person to play. You can head onto Steam, you can download this, and you can see what you think. Now, if you are not aware, this is a reimagination of the Carmageddon game by the original developers, bringing back all of what we loved from the Carmageddon franchise and getting rid of everything we hated. But being a beta, and I have to stress, this is very, 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 very beta. Okay, this isn't like those big AAA games where they say it's a beta and actually it's just an extended demo. This is actually a beta. Lots of stuff isn't working properly. Loads and loads of bugs, and the engine is very, very unoptimized at the moment. But there's a lot of fun to be had here with a great variety of different courses, as well as obviously those cars, those all-important mayhem machines. Now the developers have done a really good job at capturing the spirit of Carmageddon with this new release, but. I am slightly concerned that this new engine they've put together between the Alpha and the Beta, it's feeling rather console-ish, and I kind of wasn't expecting that. The actual Alpha engine they were using, to me, felt a lot better than what we've currently got in this Beta. Now one of the things that's really kind of making me go, Ugh, is the texture quality. It really is dire in places desperately in need of some high-res artwork there, in my opinion. It almost feels like this new engine has been built for console hardware and not really optimised for PC yet, and that does give me a few concerns, I have to say. What I really wanted to see was something that, at beta at least, kind of gave us this feel that this is a PC game, not something that is being targeted at those consoles. It kind of comes down to the way that textures are being streamed in. It just doesn't quite feel PC-ish. There's not really, in my opinion at least, uh, a compelling example here of PC architecture. It does feel like we've got lower resolution textures, lots of popping and so on, probably because it's targeting that console hardware, and there obviously are issues there with pulling large quantities, quantities of textures along. But that said, this is obviously showing a lot of promise, this game. There is a lot of problems from a bugginess point of view, and the engine is very unoptimized, certainly on NVIDIA hardware. Now, one of the things that a few other people have mentioned to me, and I noticed this myself, is at the moment the game does feel very CPU bound. It's literally like we're hitting bottleneck after bottleneck after bottleneck. Any attempts to turn on anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, bloom, or anything like that, tends to result in a massive hit to the frame rate right now. Currently, 60 frames a second is very unlikely with this game. In fact, we really do seem to be seeing that this game wants to push it down to the 30 frames a second. That's where it's happiest. And again, that makes me think that this is probably a console engine, as it were, or targeted towards consoles first, which is a bit of an ex a shame, really. Um, you know, I have a great love for the guys at Stainless, having been one of the original beta testers uh, and uh, reviewers of the original Carmageddon. And I do hope that I'm wrong on this one. And actually, what we're just seeing here is uh, an engine that is in you know, need of that optimization and targeting for PC hardware, uh, and that basically at the moment they're kind of just playing it safe. But time will tell with that one. Carmageddon will very likely come to consoles, that's almost not in any doubt. It's a game that works best on controllers, and always has. But I do hope that uh, the guys at Stainless are going to take their legacy seriously and make sure that on PC they deliver something that is a 60 frames a second presentation on mid range hardware. That really is quad core, 3.6 gigahertz, and a 60 series GPU from Nvidia. That kind of spec. And I really would expect to see 60 frames a second there. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I don't know what all you guys are hoping for. Do let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. <laughs>